So happy it's yet another day here on River Talk 2.0. I'm Jack Murphy, the River Talk guy. I'm going with that since we've got somebody over here vying for my job now. That got right, buddy. <laughs> you are. You're Isn't going it? after me, oh, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. yeah, I am. I thought you were just. I knew you wouldn't be comfortable with co-host. No, no, no. I've got to be it. I got to be number one. Okay. Yeah. Right. You're number one right now, but I'm I'm coming after you. But you're you, moving in yeah, on I'm me. I'm moving in right on there. You. We're just like that, yeah. but in six right. months. Just like that. This is an ego business. You've just got to realize that. I heard a radio guy at one of the talk stations the other day say, I don't have an ego. And I just started chuckling. Yeah, right. <laughs> Are you kidding? I think we all have a little bit of an it, ego. Well, everybody has a little ego, especially if, if they're in this business, whether it be radio, television, or whatever. you got to have some kind of a little bit of an ego. Yeah. I mean. And it helps they, when you have sponsors. Because I'd have <laughs> the, half the ego if it weren't for right. great sponsors. That's right. And like that, HTC. That makes, and it'd give you a bigger ego if you have a good sponsor oh, like sure. HTC. And your yeah. ego gets a little bigger when you get like a second sponsor. <laughs> like Conway Medical Center. Exactly. And then, you know, you're off Ooh. the charts if you've got like another great sponsor like Anderson Brothers Bank. And Hallelujah. Then you, Go for the fourth one. What's the fourth one? I feel like I'm watching Jerry Maguire here. I got the quad, you know? You know? <laughs> Beverly Holmes. Uh, you had me at hello, didn't you? Yeah. All yeah. right, enough of the Jerry Maguire stuff. All That's right. a great movie, though, still. It was, man. You ever notice how Renee Zellweger always looks like she just sliced an onion? But she's different now. She had a face thing done. Really? Yeah, she looks different. She well, Jennifer Grey like did that, the girl from Dirty Dancing, and then she... Remember? Yeah, they changed she, her she, looks. she got a nose job. She ruined it. I, well, well, Zell, Zellweger kind of ruined it for me. I thought she looked better with her squinty eyes. How long was she married to Kenny Chesney? An hour? Uh, maybe. 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 Never one, understand maybe that one. Maybe through one album. <laughs> <laughs> Just enough to get the, get the uh, you know. Kenny Chesney. It's a great hat, though. I got a story about Kenny Chesney, and we'll talk about it one day. You right? know who else wears great hats? Who's that? Shane Hubbard. Mm -hmm. And he knows the folks over at Bradham Insurance a lot better than I do. But you can get to know them as well. They've been around for a long, long time. A lot of folks know them. And uh, they are responsible for Andrew being here. We had to make him uh, feel important. And so he's going to tell us what's coming up on the show today. Not, not that we mean anything disparaging to you at all, Andrew. I mean, we right. couldn't do the show without you. Yeah. Uh, crunchy or creamy peanut butter today, Andrew? <laughs> I'm going to go peanut free today. But, uh, yeah, Jack, today on the show, I think we're really going to like this one. We got a classic video on today's Crack a Smile. Y'all are going to – it'll make you chuckle. Okay. And then we got a great feature from Beverly Homes featuring a house of the week. You know, I think if you're out there looking for a house, you might want to pay attention to this one. Even if you're not looking. Exactly. You never know. You just never know. Then uh, we have a great guest who really has her fingers on the pulse of downtown Conway. She'll tell you all about it. We have Hillary Howard. Then we got a great phone call. And I'm telling you, I love sports. I'm sure everyone here loves sports. And we get to hear all about it from Coastal Carolina's own athletic director, Matt Hogue. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. You know who else who uh, has her finger on the pulse, or Who's at least that? used to, our veteran of the week? We'll talk about that a little later on in the show. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Most certainly. Yes, yeah, sir. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, Coastal Carolina Remediation presents the events of the week. What is happening today, Deke? What, what, me. what can I just leave here today <laughs> when I walk off? I got to do something fun. Fun? Yeah. Well, uh, here's something kind of cool at the Orange County Museum. Uh, the Horry County Museum. It's just the, down the road from here. Oh, yeah. It's just like a couple of blocks from the studios here. Uh, the Horry County Museum and the AVX Foundation present a program by Randy Webster. That's going to be Saturday, August 10th. Now, this program is going Randy to Randy Webster? Where have I heard that name before? Dictionary. Webster's <laughs> Dictionary. This is his son. <laughs> this is his son. Okay. Uh, anyway, this program uh, features an in-depth discussion about uh, hurricane preparedness and mm -hmm. what it means to you. Now, Randy Webster is the Emergency Management Director for Orange County Government. So there you go. That's who Randy That's Webster is. That's how I know that name. Yeah, he's yeah. A, he's yeah. a nice guy. I've met Randy. Uh, he has uh, 35 years of public uh, safety experience in emergency management, EMS, and uh, fire service fields. He began his career with Orange County in 1989, just before Hurricane Hugo uh, hit the East Coast. And in uh, 2016, Webster was named 
uh, EMD Director of the Year during the annual South Carolina Emergency Management Association workshop. And he has presented at conferences regionally and nationally and has uh, served on many boards and committees throughout the state, including uh, South Carolina, of course, the Homeland Security Advisory Council, the National Hurricane uh, Conference, uh, response committee, and uh, he's president of the South Carolina Emergency Management Association. Right. This guy has many belts. Huh. So, yeah, he does real well. I thought he him. was taking a little time off to, like, rediscover himself and do do a little less. I don't know. Well, don't know. he's going to have to take off a few belts mm. then, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> or, or go take a few belts. Um, anyway, it's Horry County Museum, 805 Main Street. Uh, it's going to be Saturday, uh, 1 till 2 o'clock, August 10th. So, this coming Saturday. I don't want to hear that word that you said a while ago that began with H. What was that? Hurricanes. <laughs> that is a dirty word. Well, that's isn't a it? dirty word. I hate it, man. Especially over here in Rivertown. Oh, geez. Rivertown? How about Surfside? Yeah, you, you everybody. Oh, got, my gosh, right. man. I live on the ocean side of 17. I'm the guy that worries. Of course, over here, you got to worry about the, the rivers. Yeah, especially when it's a rain event. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it man. was just bad time last year. Oh, All the oh by the way, I left something out here. I'm sorry. Uh, the program we're talking about. Is uh, it free? <laughs> See, I don't, uh, you know, when you give me this information, I, 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 I fail. Yeah. Uh, uh, once again, we're into the restless and inattentive thing here. Uh, the, this program at the Horry County Museum uh, will begin at 1 o'clock at the McCallum Auditorium at 805 Main Street. Right. All right, right here in Conway. Okay, 1 o'clock. The event is free. It's open to the public. And it's, uh, here's, here, here, I'll give you a number to call, okay? For more information, call 843-915-5320. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to remember that. Well, I will. Well, let me write oh, it God. down, 913-5320. Yeah, right. zero. yeah one, one till two o'clock, okay. okay? There you go, man. All right. Looking forward to that. Yeah, it sounds like a rainy Well, someone day. is. I've, I've already got plans for this afternoon. I won't be there, but. Is that right? If, for those that have not gone through. A hurricane season here. If you got time, it'll be well worth it. Get to go through a hurricane because a lot of time, yeah, because a lot of times, some 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 sometimes uh, stories are sensationalized. Remember that guy that was uh, was he with the Weather Channel? And he's out oh, there, and he's yeah, he's out there. They got out there, and he's like looking like it's he's like in the middle of a uh, ninety yeah. mile per hour yeah, gust and right there's some surfers walking by <laughs> <laughs> oh man put that big fan on him like man it's coming through oh, it's baby coming. look oh, it's, out it's bad look out it's really bad yeah i remember one time an old boy named shotgun stone he used to work uh, uh kzq years ago with me we had a hurricane come in of course we all took all the vehicles went to different parts of the grand strand sure <laughs> we do reports and I remember a, a Shotgun, of course, now he works for Sirius Radio out in New York City. He's a programmer. Yep, yep. Uh, he was down in uh, Polly's Island, and he says, yeah, here we are in Polly's Island. Uh, this hurricane, I don't know if it's David or whatever, is coming over our head as I speak. We are in the eye of the hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> He'd never even seen us. <laughs> no, the hurricane wasn't even close. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're in the 800 eye. 800 miles from yeah. us. Oh, he freaked everybody out. So, oh, my gosh, it's already here? Already? Oh, How did yeah, that happen? Freaked them all out. Unbelievable. All right, we didn't have time man. to load up the truck with milk and batteries. <laughs> That's right. Those sort of things happen. Hey, if you're looking for a new truck or a car, you could not find a better place to pick up a new vehicle than our good friends at Palmetto Chevrolet. How down there? He's cranking out some pretty righteous videos for us. Let's check one out right now on River Talk 2.0. What's going on, everybody? My name's Hal Stoniker. I'm a sales consultant at Palmetto Chevrolet in downtown Conway. Going to talk to you a little bit today about how to remote start the new 2019 Traverse. This one is silver ice in color. Interior is black cloth. Starts at about 38,000 with the key fob. Always hit lock first. Drop down to the button. Looks like a circle below. Hold it for three seconds. The engine will then start. The doors stay locked. The passive entry system will allow you to come up to the vehicle with the fob in your possession, push the silver button, and it will only unlock that door. Get in, apply the brake, push the ignition button, hold it down. When the lights on the dash come on, you could then put it in gear and go. Come find myself or any of our other sales consultants at Palmetto Chevrolet, and we'll take care of you. Thank you. 
buy new roads, and a lot of times they do lead to downtown Conway, Palmetto Chevrolet. Great place to buy that next Chevrolet, that new one. They got a great, uh, great selection of pre-owned vehicles too. That's the only place my brother-in-law buys his trucks. Really? Yeah. Well, That's he's right. a smart dude. He is. Y'all talk a lot. Uh, yeah. Well, no. Okay. No. He's a, he's really smart dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, only when I see him do we ever talk. He okay. won't answer the phone. Okay. You know, he, he never, you know, he won't text back. So you're right. No, we don't talk a lot. Okay. But he's a nice guy. I bet he'll call you today. <laughs> <laughs> I can pretty much guarantee he'll be calling oh. you today. Yeah, I'm after sure he throwing will. him under the bus like that. I like it, Dexter. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I was just... Yeah, I'm kind of not using you now for the joke or to make fun of you or nothing like that. I like you a lot. We're brother-in-laws, and you're the good man. But you know what I mean? You never answer your phone. All right. There you go. He's going to call you, no doubt. He hey, stick will. around. we got an exciting show, just like Andrew said. Forget what Ed said. It's what Andrew said. More right after this. Hi, it's Delaney from Moonshadow Studios. And when I don't have my coffee in the morning, I get real depresso. We'll be right back with more River Talk 2.0 after this. My family keeps me on the go. And as fellow community members, HTC believes friends and neighbors deserve services that keep the day running smoothly. No matter where life takes me, HTC keeps me connected by providing world-class technology to Ori and Georgetown counties. Because you are here, and so are we. HGC. This is life. Connect with it. Hey guys, I'm John Cassidy with Duplicates Inc. and Market Smart, the best printing company in the area. And we're right back to River Talk 2.0. We're back. River Talk 2.0 still on the air. Go figure. Good to have you with us. Deacon, what you got up your sleeve over there? You've broke out the joke book. No, no. No, 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 no. We've got something coming up here that's kind of funny. And it's going to be about dogs. Oh, so that's so you're. I was oh, preparing. Oh, you're preparing. I was for preparing it. for it. You know, uh, for this little funny thing we're going to do here. Oh, we got something funny here. Yeah. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The crack a smile segment that we do every day. Exactly. Brought to you okay. by Carolina Center of Advanced Dentistry. You want to check it out now? Let's do it. All yeah. Right. Do well, it, do let's it. take a look uh, at this. Yeah, do it. Because then we'll talk about my dog. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You like? It. Yeah. Food. You know, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I went to the fridge and I opened up the meat drawer. You know what the meat drawer is, right? Yeah. What was in there? Well, I'll tell you what was in there. You know that bacon that's like maple? It's got maple flavor. The maple kind, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. I took that out and I thought, yeah. I know who would like that. Me. So I ate it. Oh, no. You kidding me. Nope. Not kidding. You know, I also noticed there was some beef in there. Yeah, you know, steak, you know, juicy. Well, I ate that, too. <laughs> but I went back to the fridge just a few minutes ago, and I put something together really special. You're going to love this one. I took some chicken. Yeah. I put some, yeah, I yeah. put some cheese on it, and I covered it with... Covered it with what? I covered it with cat treats. Yeah. Then guess what? What? I gave it to the cat. <laughs> yeah, this show's really going to the dogs. That's cute right there. Yeah. Uh, well, that was funny, and uh, <laughs> you know, well, it was hilarious to me. It was. I and I was gonna tell you a little story about my dog, but let me go to my joke book here, and I, we just won't talk about my dog. I'll just act like that. This is. Would have been my dog oh, if I oh, didn't use the joke book, oh. you see. Sometimes I'm a little slow. I think I blew your cover. It, you did. I was going to say, well, you know, my, my dog is taking advanced course in obedience school. He knows how to fetch, heal, stay, and now he's learning how to fax. But since I didn't get to do that, <laughs> then we won't hear that joke. All right? Now, there Andrew's over right, there scratching nice his head. Huh? And he's wanted to know what's the facts. Does anyone even do that anymore? We can't talk about the facts of life right now. 
uh, <coughs> Andrew. Maybe some other day. Yeah, we'll probably, get in. Probably don't want to do that That's one right. anyway. Yeah, really. considering his. How you spell facts, Andrew? It, it, spell facts. Uh, the, you mean like Car Fox? <laughs> like what? Car Fox. Oh yeah, Car Fox. Yeah. How you spell facts? F. A X X yeah yeah I was thinking more of F A C T uh, S No <laughs> that would be totally wrong Well see but this way totally we don't wrong. look like we're a couple We of should do a spelling bee on this show We ought to Not this week but like down the road Yeah let's we do We could it. bring in like whoever's the best spelling bee champ in Horry County and pit them against you Against me I got my money on the key. Yeah not going to embarrass no, me. You're not going to pit them against me. I tell you that right now. Maybe buddy. on River Talk 3.1, but on the River Talk 2.0, you're wearing the egg. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> now, you know what I was going to do is say, okay, say say facts, F A X, okay, but it's actually F A C T S. If you spelled it another way, you see what I'm saying? Facts, facts, instead of facts. Right. Yeah. So so this way. That's a 20th century word, isn't it? Yeah, facts, F-A-X. Right. If you have the facts. Well, that's short for F-A-C-S-I-M-I-L-E, facsimile, reasonable. Reasonable facsimile. Yeah. Yeah, right. So that's what I was going to do. What I was going to do is embarrass Andrew by saying you didn't spell it right. It was F-A-C-T-S, but it didn't go over. No. No, he made me look stupid just now. You see what I'm saying? Right. Well, you didn't need him. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, let's head out to the Speedway. Yeah, let's do so. Let's go racing in that car. Quickly. Did you? No, I haven't. Okay, well, they got other things to do out there at Myrtle Beach Speedway. One of the best bargains in family entertainment. They have shows out there. They have concerts, all kinds of events. I love when uh, the big trucks come, the stunt drivers. They're going to do a little drifting out there on the Speedway. I've seen school bus races out there. That's a lot of fun. Flat car racing is good stuff. Let's do it. Let's take a look at the video right now on River Talk 2.0. This Saturday night is going to be the Racing Brotherhood Foundation presented by Bell and Bell Night. So come on out this Saturday night. The gates are going to open at 6 p.m. We've got free pace car rides beginning at 6.30. 7 o'clock, we're going to have the meet and greet. You're going to have your chance to come out on the front stretch, be side by side with these drivers, get autographs, let the kids get pictures. It's just a lot of fun here at Myrtle Beach Speedway. We've done a lot to try to improve. Uh, We've got the cars, so now we want you to come back as a fan, sit in these grandstands, and remember what it was like to be a kid and bring your kids. So uh, when they're out here, they're having the time of their life, and we want to be a part of that here at Myrtle Beach Speedway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here on River Talk, you're going to have the uh, opportunity to meet one of our drivers who's going to be racing this Saturday night at Myrtle Beach Speedway, the Racing Brotherhood Night presented by Bell & Bell. This is driver Brian Voss, driver of this number 26 right here. Brian, if you could kind of... uh, enlighten the River Talk fans on what it's like to be inside this race car and have 20 plus late models side by side fighting for everything and, and what the laps bring. I believe we're going to be doing uh, twin 40s tonight. So uh, tonight's race, uh, what does that mean, those first 40 laps going into that second half? Uh, well, twin 40s are a different animal in your own element. Uh, you know, you've got so many guys that want to try to win the first one and so many guys that try to play strategy and try to win the second one. Um, it's going to be hot for sure. I mean, inside of cars, it can get 30 to 40 degrees hotter than ambient temperature outside. But it's going to be uh, the best of the best down here at Myrtle Beach. I mean, we're averaging the highest car counts weekly of any short track or any tour division. And our uh, cars, like miles racing each and every lap, hard as they can. So it should be a good one for sure. And tonight you're going to be uh, doing double duty, right? You're going to have the 26 as well as the 38 super truck. What is it like to have to work on a, uh, a late model and then jump right out of that and change your mindset and get into a, a truck and then get back out of it and do it again? Oh, it's tough, no doubt about it. I mean, each uh, vehicle that I drive, late model or a charger, or sometimes practicing or the truck, a different animal. I mean, the trucks you can charge the corners a lot harder and uh, just really will it. Where the late models depend more on the setup of the car. So it's uh, definitely a lot to get used to, but we'll make it happen sometime. This Saturday night, August 10th, Racing Brotherhood Night presented by Bell and Bell. Come on out here again. Gates at 6 p.m. Pace car rides at 6:30. Meet and greet starts at 7. We we'll look forward to seeing you this Saturday night. I'm Johnny Gardner. I was born and raised here in Horry County. I went to Coastal Carolina and I've been practicing law here for 25 years. I've seen this county grow, new roads, more cars, and unfortunately more car wrecks. 
If you or a loved one have been injured in a car wreck, give me a call. It won't cost you anything to see if I can help. You take care of getting better, we'll take care of the rest. You can be approved. At Anderson Brothers Bank, your options are endless. With loans starting at $1,000, we can get you approved even if you have a low credit score. Still nervous about applying for a loan? Anderson Brothers Bank ranked third on the Forbes list for in-state banks. So give us a chance to show you how we treat you like family. Anderson Brothers Bank, since 1933. Hey, welcome back. We're alive and kicking here on River Talk 2.0. So is Conway. Downtown is really alive. Hillary Howard, good seeing you. How are you doing? Put good her to there, see you. old buddy, old pal. <laughs> How's your summer going? This is going well. Yeah. Yeah, we've been working on this uh, this uh, reimagination of of River Talk. Awesome. So. Awesome. The only I thing like that's really different is we have somebody else helping me ask the questions. <laughs> yeah, would, yeah, that's yeah a, that's would you a, like to introduce that's me? That's Deacon Dawson, <laughs> the like freaking Deacon over there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dad, how, how you, you doing, doing, darling? <laughs> My pleasure. Nice to be here with you. Yeah. So it's been uh, a kind of a slow summer in Conway as far as events. Get out of here. There's it's no also set. been really hot. Really hot. Yeah, it's been a hot. It's been a hot <laughs> summer. That's okay. But um, we're gearing up for the fall. But you know, in the summer, I find that lots of times in downtown Conway. So we're part. We're Conway Downtown Alive, and our mission is to promote and preserve historic downtown Conway. So we work in a very um, small footprint, just the historic district in downtown. Now, what does that encompass? Yeah, the historic, so, because I've heard that through the years. So I, in I, historic, I, downtown historic downtown Conway. Conway. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I kind of think of downtown Conway, historic Conway, as two sections. You have your residential section which has those lovely houses, a lot of turn of the century to 1930, 1940s homes. Mm -hmm. And then you have your more of your downtown historic district. So we work in the downtown district. We are bounded by the Waccamaw River um, on one side. So that beautiful bridge that is now open. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so that is one boundary. Then the river on the 905 side of the downtown area. Um, we go up to 9th Avenue along Main Street and roughly the um, Horry County uh, original courthouse over there, Beatty, um, Elm Street oh, area. Yeah. So that's sort of our downtown working footprint. So almost all the activities, promotions that we do are gonna happen within that footprint. Okay. So we wanna get folks downtown. What we find is when we get people downtown, no matter what it's for, for an event, a promotion, a walking tour, then they're gonna come back again because people love to explore oh, yeah. walking districts because it, it, people don't walk anymore when you think about it. I was with a group in um, Greenville this past weekend and one day like we walked about two miles and you know in, in a downtown when you're walking every day that's not really that far you know you go down you grab lunch you come back mm -hmm. blah 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 but I know for this group that they're in a different environment each day that was a big walk so we like people to get down and, and explore because that, that's really that's really what makes downtown He walks. Fun. You're a walker. Oh, yeah, I'm a walker. You, I, uh, you get up at what time in the morning? I get up at 4 o'clock every morning, and usually I'll walk about 5 o'clock, mm -hmm. do about 3 to 5 miles. There, yeah. I see. Yeah. So that's nothing. No, no, it's nothing for me to walk anywhere. Mm -hmm. but, but, you know, it's funny because Conway, years ago, this is kind of, I mean, I don't, I don't want to put down Conway, but years ago, uh, when I first came here, 51 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, Conway was uh, like a to me is like a one horse town. As oh, I was yeah. heading to Myrtle Beach, yeah, right, they were right. still oh, they yeah. were still selling turpentine down the <laughs> right. river when That's you right. came That's here. Right. Weren't they? they said steamboats <laughs> yeah. on the river. <laughs> That's what I thought. But 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 it was uh, it, to me it was like a 501. That was it. And you just zipped right, right on right. through. You know what's this? Oh, it's Conway. Okay. Well, when you saw Lake Busby, you knew you were getting close to the right. beach. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. right. And, and so, so, but now. Uh, you know, I would always say, well, what, what am I going to do in Conway? What am I going to do I, if I had to come to Conway for anything? What am I, well, i got to go to court. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah right. Deacon, you got to go to court today, pal. Yeah. You know? But but now, the, I mean, this place is, has gone mad. It's it's And it's it's a quaint, beautiful. It's It's been 
revitalized, mm-hmm. and, and I'm excited for Conway. I love coming over here now. Well, good, yeah, good. I really do. Yeah, so you're doing your job, well, right? Well, it, it's been, it's been it's a process. Great. I've been with the organization just a little over 10 years, and, you know, there were some not so fabulous times but right right now that's what i was just talking with someone that you know downtown vacancies as far as available properties for rent for sale are really very low right now i mean i've never Mm -hmm. seen it that low we've had a few properties that have been for sale for years we're talking five seven years they're under contract or have sold within the last 60 to 90 days and we're talking ten thousand to fifteen thousand square feet plus size properties so those Mm -hmm. are those are huge properties in the scheme yeah. of a downtown. Um, and you know, one of those in particular is going to be able to have between six and eight um, units in it, restaurants, bars, retail. So wow. just think about the possibility of adding eight new businesses in one block in a downtown footprint. That's, I'd like that's to have huge. that going on. Well, that would have been unheard of 20 that's years right. ago. That's right. You know, that's I'm right. serious. You know, uh, Conway was just the county seat. Mm-hmm. You know, and people have to come over here and do their business, do do business. or whatever. And uh, some of the shops were closed up. And, you know, but right. but this is the only uh, town uh, that you could revitalize because, like, Myrtle Beach is basically new. New, brand Everything's new. Brand Everything's brand new. Brand new. Much, There's yeah. nothing mm-hmm. old over. They tore down mm-hmm. all the old stuff. What, right. the old Ocean Forest Hotel? <laughs> no it was comment. the only old thing they no had. got rid of. <laughs> well, so why you want to reel people into that? <laughs> <laughs> so so wow. this is cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like the. I, I like the small towns. I'm from West Virginia originally, and I'm sorry. and they're. Yeah. <laughs> That wasn't nice, but I understand. I understand. But, but once you get once you get to the welcome wagon, they'll give you a little shot of moonshine, and the place looks wonderful. But 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 I, you know I always like to go through these little towns anymore and check them out. Some of them are still dead up there, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. but it's, it's like Conway. Some of them are revitalized, and it's great. Well, I, I have, love this stuff. I have to give a shout out to a couple businesses just opening in the last uh, few weeks. You um, can't do that. No, no. <laughs> um, we have one on Third Avenue. Lots of folks have been peering in the window um, on third avenue it's called succotash it used to be a law firm and um, kind of right across the road from curtains and things lots of folks go to curtains and things they bought the building they stripped it down we have exposed brick you see the timbers it's a gorgeous renovation that's really what we love to see is people coming in buying a building renovating it and and then opening their business so succotash is open and she is doing like kitchenware households but also cooking classes um oh, really? wine tastings and every day um she offers something that they have cooked you know on site there and you can grab and go or you can grab and go like a whole catering thing for some event that you yeah. have so a very wow. different concept okay. i think especially the cooking class isn't that yeah. it's awesome. right, that's neat. Um, instead of a place with just food it's cuisine now <laughs> They got cuisine <laughs> here. Scale cuisine. <laughs> yeah, that's neat. Succotash. Um, yeah, succotash. Another, uh, yeah, on most days she features succotash. <laughs> <as well. laughs> um, and then another really cool thing um, on Fourth Avenue, we have Fourth and Main. It's a home decor store. Okay. They were knocking it out of the park. Be fabulous. They've been open for just over a year, doing so well. They're opening a second concept in 3,000 square feet over on Laurel Street that will specialize mainly in just furniture. So okay. they have one location with decor and the second location with furniture. So, again, that's what we like to see. People that yeah. have come here, have found a space, renovate, and they're doing so well they need to, to find another another spot or, or to open a second concert. Are you finding out that a lot of these folks might be Yankees? <laughs> Are these Yankees bringing their money here you know and what? setting their stuff up? The two I just mentioned. I don't know if that was not. Ernest Hollings or Strom Thurmond <laughs> I just heard. Uh, well, Strom Thurmond sounds a little different than, than Hollings did. <laughs> the, the two I've just mentioned are, are not. You know, we have it's it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag, but it takes all kinds of creative minds to make it work. Yeah. So. <laughs> you know, here, here's something I know. Uh, the reason the place has gone nuts. You know, the people up north. Uh, the they were Yankees a few minutes ago, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but now they're yeah, the people up say, north. Uh, okay, I yeah. okay, all right, all right. This is I television. Yeah. I could have got away okay. with it in radio. <laughs> yeah, but but I, you know, they they come down here, and and uh, to them, it's uh, this is like uh, 
for what they have to spend up right. there to live. The cost of living is much lower. Here. Yeah. Much, and, and so, much lower. Yeah, they love yeah. it. And it doesn't matter if they live in Aner to drive 30 miles no, to go to the no. beach because up there, up there north, <laughs> uh, they have to travel like 100 miles to go to work. You know, so this right. is nothing yeah. here. So well, they're all now yeah. starting to settle in this area. We, we yeah. run the visitor center for the city of Conway as well. So that's daily meet and greet for right. new residents. And you're absolutely right. When they, um, most of our folks that come to the area are young active retirees mm -hmm. and you are correct they are selling a house uh in the north three four hundred five hundred thousand dollar home and they're coming down and buying a house here for 120 half the price yeah 150 yeah. and the taxes they're paying in a year what they were paying in a month right um and, and like you said so they hop in the car they drive 30 minutes to the beach no so big to deal. them that's still beachfront living without the hassle right. of the traffic so we see it every day and but most of those people that are coming are young active retirees i say explain that because yeah. they're maybe 55 okay so they've come out of college i'm almost there and they have worked there I'm past that <laughs> yeah i know i knew you were oh, yeah geez. <laughs> They've worked their entire career probably at one or two companies. A lot of them retired from government positions, right? And they, they're they're very young, reasonably speaking, in a retirement. Yeah, 55 is young. Right, and they're ready to go. Yeah, and a lot you of hope them. it's young. <laughs> Not young. Yeah, Me, young. I'll, I'll say it's young. <laughs> but those are the folks that, like you said, those are the Yankees that are coming. But they're volunteering at your fire department, so your EMS, at your museums. That's what we see. They're still active they still want to be involved they're right. not ready for the retirement lifestyle so a lot of those folks that you're probably interacting with at different events different organizations around Horry county are probably transplants to the area that just sure. came mm -hmm. that they, they still have another you know 10 years that they want to be active in their community well you have great events we have a lot of events. What's coming up uh, <laughs> here in uh, the month of August, September? Okay, so, you know, summer is kind of slow for us because it's, it's, it's hot. Man, it's just hot in Conway. Let it go. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's right, always it been so hot, hot in the it's summertime. It's month. It really it is. It really is. Well, and we see in the visitor center just, you know, they come in. They're wilted flowers when they come in there. Um, so what we have coming up, so Dine Around is coming up in October. Right. Um, so that's when all our local restaurants uh, offer sort of a tasting menu, if you will, uh, that is priced between 2 and $4. So you can go to three or four different restaurants, shoot in for 30 minutes and try some of their their great eats i'm sure succotash is going to be participating oh, in yeah, that yeah. we All usually right. see about four to six hundred people for that event and then you know what i'm going to say the next thing coming in october my favorite thing that we're planning for right now is the ghost walk oh Conway ghost walk. yes you'll Halloween. probably come back before then and <laughs> she has all these these really uh well they're really terrible halloween jokes the, they're oh, worse than terrible. mine they're yeah, well. not terrible Okay. okay, my favorite Halloween joke. What's that? <laughs> really? What's a ghost's favorite kind of makeup? Mascara! Get it? Mascara! Uh, I think I'll go get some more <laughs> coffee. Okay. Yeah, see, I told see, you. I'll be working on Look, we've got something to look on. forward to <laughs> yeah. in October. No, actually, I'm going to steal that joke. It's not bad. <laughs> I'll use but that one. But one thing day. I want to mention is, you know, for all these events, we are always looking for volunteers. Right. And that's what we're doing right now is we are recruiting volunteers, whether it's for things like the Ghost Walk or the Dine Around, or like I mentioned, for the Visitor Center. We have ambassadors that are working in our Visitor Center every day that meet and greet not only um, visitors, but our new residents. So these are volunteers. They're volunteers, oh, yeah. yeah. And they also help us with our walking tours. We do historic walking tours of downtown Conway. Um, Conway was founded in 1732, so there's quite a bit of history. And You remember that, don't really, you? Yeah, I was there. Just, yeah. you're just, I was the there, babe. buddy. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, so we're always looking for volunteers uh, for all those events and the visitor center. So if folks um, are interested in that, they should just stop by our office at Fifth and Main or check out our website or our Facebook page. Well, I'll loan them a three-cornered hat <laughs> if they want to you know, be a guide. And I guess I need to do one other push out. You know, we have talked before about Fifth and Main. The building is available for rentals. Oh, right. So yeah, Post sure. Office yeah. In downtown Conway. Our fall and even into spring of 2020 calendar is filling up. So if you are thinking of having a wedding, a baby shower, birthday party, anything, you need to get on the calendar now. You can book about a, a year in advance. Right. Wow. Um, but a lot That's of eight. our dates are already filled. Um, we can accommodate 100 people. So it's a great spot for, you know, not that giant event, but you're, 
You know, lots of people come because they don't want 60 people in their house for an anniversary party. Oh, well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want anyone in my house. <laughs> I couldn't get 60 in my house. <laughs> so um, definitely, if you're thinking about doing that, you need to, to book those dates now because they are Can they I are Can I fast. get a look-see? You can before, come walk in whenever. Before I sign the lease? Well, not you, but <laughs> yeah, not you. Whoa, people whoa, can come Whoa, really? <laughs> I'm from North Carolina. That's right. He's from the north. I'm from that's north right. of here. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> a little, little speck in the road south of Raleigh. All right. Three okay, miles fast for some speed. <laughs> <laughs> Good seeing you, Good Hillary, see as always. You. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice yeah. meeting you, darling. My pleasure. Absolutely. You're going to come back for more, Deacon? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell well, me. I hope folks watching will come back yeah. for more. River Talk 2.0 continues in a moment. Hello. Welcome from Anderson Oaks. I am here with Stephen Jones from Granny's Florist. He's here to introduce a little bit of what we're doing today. Hey, welcome. <laughs> today is Na National Make Someone Smile Week. It's a... Um, event we do every year sponsored by Teleflor. Uh, this week alone in the United States there will be about probably 40,000 of these beauties delivered to various nursing homes, fire departments, wherever the floors choose to do that. So we're here today to deliver smiles to the wonderful residents of Anderson Oak. All right, thank you so much for being here and let's cheer a little bit. Let's Achieve the smile you've always dreamed of with the Carolina Center for Advanced Dentistry. Let Dr. Jeff Horowitz and his staff use their expertise to improve your health as well as your smile. From TMJ or bite problems to smile makeovers, implants, gum disease, and even braces and Invisalign. Let our team show you the difference of true comprehensive care. Call today to set up an appointment. The Carolina Center for Advanced Dentistry with two locations to serve you better. One in Conway and Merle's Inlet, now accepting new patients. Hey guys, I'm John Cassidy with Duplicates Inc. and Market Smart, the best printing company in the area. And we're right back to River Talk 2.0. Coming up a little later on in the show, we're going to talk to Matt Hogue. And somewhere in there, Kansas is talked about. Coastal Carolina University and Kansas say what? And what did they say in The Wizard of Oz? There's no place like home. Was that it? Well, if you're thinking of home, Beverly Homes is where you need to stop first. I mean, if you're looking for a new home or, or maybe uh, your, your in-laws from somewhere else in the country are looking to, like, relocate here, Beverly Homes. Great place to uh, trust it. Been building for a long time. Let's check this out, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hey, my name is Kevin Crawford. I'd like to welcome you to Jessica Lakes East, a premier community brought to you by Beverly Homes. Jessica Lakes East is located in an unmatched location of Conway, South Carolina, between Highways 501 and Highway 90, just minutes from Conway's historic district. The Jessica Lakes East community is a neighborhood that offers you traditional style homes with stylish street lights, a large lake giving you a choice to build on waterfront, wooded, or private lots. Beverly Homes offers a number of customizable floor plans featuring open living spaces, cathedral and tray ceilings, as well as other architectural touches that add elegance to your home, such as smooth finished drywall ceilings and walls, including a complete garage, upgraded trim packages, vaulted and tray ceilings per plan, brushed nickel hardware on all interior doors, decorative chrome or brushed nickel glass light fixtures per plan. The kitchens offer a large pantry and profile kitchen cabinets with crown molding, with the cooking area offering plenty of counter space, double sinks, and stainless steel appliances, creating a state-of-the-art kitchen that makes cooking fun and easy. Our floor plans offer a great selection of single-story and two-story homes that offer a great selection of square footages to choose from, as well as layouts featuring large foyer areas, several dining and bedroom layouts, and if you like breakfast bars or eating kitchens, we have those too. Also available are plans with covered rear porches and grilling patterns. Construction and energy efficiency is important to Beverly Homes. All of the homes in Jessica Lakes East come standard with the luxury of natural gas, which in combination with tankless water heaters, gas heat, and gas cooking, fits well with the Beverly Homes energy efficient construction style. Featuring low E energy efficient windows, upgraded insulation package is sure to help reduce your energy bills and maximize your budget no matter what the season. All of the homes in Jessica Lakes East are built with a maintenance-free lifestyle in mind, with maintenance-free premium Dutch slap vinyl siding, maintenance-free soffits and fascia, concrete walkways and driveways, 
covered lanais and patios per plane. In terms of shopping and nearby amenities, Jessica Lakes has convenient access to shopping centers, a wide variety of restaurants, and some of the finest schools and healthcare in the area. With the Conway Riverwalk, Coastal Carolina University, and Myrtle Beach only minutes away, you will find plenty of opportunities to get outside and enjoy coastal living at its finest. Again, my name is Kevin Crawford, on-site sales agent for Jessica Lakes East in Conway, South Carolina. My office hours are Tuesday to Saturday from 9 to 5, Sunday and Monday by appointment, and you can reach me at 843-957-0893. Achieve the smile you've always dreamed of with the Carolina Center for Advanced Dentistry. Let Dr. Jeff Horowitz and his staff use their expertise to improve your health as well as your smile. From TMJ or bite problems to smile makeovers, implants, gum disease, and even braces and Invisalign. Let our team show you the difference of true comprehensive care. Call today to set up an appointment. The Carolina Center for Advanced Dentistry with two locations to serve you better. One in Conway and Merle's Inlet. Now accepting new patients. Anderson Oaks has turned out to be a home away from home for my dad. The staff here treats the patient as well as the family with dignity and respect. I think that the rates here are reasonable. They got to go stay somewhere. They ain't a better place to stay than this one. And Anderson Oaks is just making me so fond of life in general. And I just can't wait to get up in the morning and say, God, what do you want me to do today? Yeah, there's something new on your television, and I ain't it. But the show is River Talk 2.0. Been a while since I was called New Anything. New. Yeah, Deacon Dawson's with us, and guess who's joining us on the phone from Coastal Carolina University? The athletic director. Why, it's Matt Hogue. Matt Hogue. Hey, Matt, good to How see you. How are you, buddy? Guys, good to talk to you. Yeah. Good to have you with us. How are things over there at uh, Coastal Carolina? I know I know what the answer is going to be. Great. Well, you guys can appreciate the phrase rocking and rolling. Right. How about that? Oh, oh absolutely. Oh, gosh, look yeah, at there. Man. man, somebody prepared for the show this week. Got it weren't there, us. Right. Way to go, Matt. Thumbs up for that. <laughs> Zeal for the teal. I'm telling you. Uh, stadium that, that's com- right. The stadium complete now? Stadium is, is done. We have a, a few final finishing touches. Uh, we'll uh, probably here within a couple of days, uh, we'll have – uh, the folks from the state come in and, and give us our blessing so mm-hmm. we can go use it and occupy it in the manner they see fit. So we're, we're ready to go. It's been a three, you know, almost three year journey, uh, to get the, the, the entire property finished and expanded, uh, the way we wanted two phases, uh, squeezing a couple of football seasons in between all of that. So, uh, it's always nice when you complete a construction project, but I think this one gives me some extra fulfillment, uh, uh, because not only is it an incredible project that's going to benefit our community and this university for many years to come, but uh, just to have it finished and be able to kind of get back to normal operations on a game day is, is something that I know our entire staff's looking forward to. Yeah, well, let's let's bring that up. It's not that far off. I mean, it's it's less than a month away. August thirty first going to be a good good going to be a good start to the season. I hear. August 31st is our season opener, 3.30 kickoff uh, at the expanded Brooks Stadium. We've got Eastern Michigan coming in. Uh, that's a team that went to a bowl game last year. They actually played a, another Sunbelt school, one of our Sunbelt brethren, Georgia Southern, mm-hmm. uh, in, a, in a great game in the bowl. Uh, that'll be a tough opening opponent, and we've got a tough schedule this year. We, uh, you know, we head back up to UMass to continue our series with them. Obviously, we've got our Sun Belt schedule, which has Troy and Appalachian and, and Georgia Southern and the rest of the schools. We also go out to Kansas this year, and we, we play the Jayhawks on September 7th. And what's interesting about that series is next year in 2020, uh, Kansas is coming back to us. So we're going to have a, a Big 12 opponent that's wow. uh, in our building. And, and that's one of the advantages of us moving up to this FBS level and, and really being in the, the top echelon of college football now is we have the opportunity to strike those kind of arrangements uh, to play teams that people know and, and brand names that, uh, you know, certainly people are interested in seeing play and, and we hope helps elevate our program as well. Woo, you're with the big dogs. 
You're playing the big that, dogs now. I think you've just hit the, the appropriate phrase, and that's what we want everybody right. to understand is right here in Horry County and with a university that's not even 70 years old, we are now playing with the big dogs. And we want people to appreciate what that means, not only – for us as a program and as a department and a university, but what that also means to the impact on our community at large, you know, and, and we need, we need that symbiotic relationship. I'm going to throw out one of those big SAT words, but we, you know, we need our community to, to be invested, to come to games, to, you know, help us keep the momentum going forward. Yeah. Yeah. Try to not use big words like that because it wasn't <laughs> until last week that Deacon could even spell FBS. That's and right. I still don't think he, he, he knows what that means. But well, essentially, well, we'll fifth. stick to the acronym. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Because I mean, I'm still into the, you know, 25 cent words. If Jack handles the 50 cent words. I handle the 25 cent words. But it is huge because there there's only three universities that play FBS level football, Clemson, Carolina and Coastal Carolina. And you know what kills hey, me is go. I remember back well, now I've been here 51 years. So I remember back when Coastal Carolina back at that time was nothing but like two buildings or whatever. Yeah, I think and, it might have been known as USC Coastal in yeah, those it days was. too. And if just for, and, and I knew some kids that went there, you know, locals here in Myrtle Beach and I, little that I would have ever dreamed. You know what you that, call those kids now? Yeah, Grand, you, grandpa. Yeah, you call him Grandpa now. But <laughs> you're, look, you're looking at one, but 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 I would have never dreamed that uh, Coastal would would uh, grow as, as large as it is now. Of course, back then you don't think of that kind of stuff. You know, it's like Myrtle Beach growing up. But man, you guys, right. And when the sports program first cast it, man, these guys are really growing now. They've got a sports program, and the sports program has gone right through the roof. You guys, I'm telling you, I am very impressed, really, and excited. Well, we, we appreciate that. It, it has been a, a great journey. Uh, we have about 450 student athletes. We have an athletic department uh, that has well over 100 employees, 19 sports uh, that are all competing at high levels. Uh, so it, it's an operation. I mean, it is, it is a definite uh, high-level uh, piece of the college athletic industry, and a lot of people don't realize that. They don't realize what it takes to, to make that go forward, it, you know, and it takes a lot of support from our donors our shauna clear athletic foundation which has grown and become a big major part you know they're going to be running the new premium suites and the areas that we have uh, available in the stadium I, I really encourage folks to reach out to our caf reach out to our ticket office and even if you're not ready to buy a ticket and we certainly hope you will and you'll join us this year because we've got numerous packages and affordable uh, deals for all tastes and all budgets to get into our games which i can promise you is is far less than a lot of our competitors uh, but, you know, even if you're not ready to buy, come out and kick the tires and, and take a look at the stadium. Our CAF will give you tours of the premium areas if you're interested mm -hmm. in that. Our ticket office will take you out there. And you know, how many other ticket offices in the country will take you on a tour of a new expanded stadium? That, that doesn't, in yeah, it doesn't happen very deal, often. Though. Right? Yeah, yeah I'm so over. Our, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, our guys can, can take you out and, and, you know, let you – walk around and, and see where you might want to sit. We've got a lot more property now, a lot more real estate in the upper deck and the premium level on the west side. So the, even the seating uh, sections and the viewpoints and the vantage points of watching a game in Brooks Stadium have changed considerably, and we think they've changed for the better. So we want folks to come out and, and visualize that and see it for themselves and, and then hopefully get involved as a season ticket holder or you know spend some time at a few games throughout the course of the year. Well, I'm over fifty. Deacon's over fifty, and 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 and, and I get bombarded with emails just because there's so much going on, especially with the university. Over fifty special seating. I think you've you've got a great partner, and so give me give me a little bit of that before I let you go today. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. We, we've partnered with Tidelands Health, uh, which is, has been a significant sponsor, and we couldn't do what we do without uh, their great support over the last few years. Every time we go to them with ideas, they they seem to, to you know take the ante up and, and work with us. And uh, of course, a lot of people are aware of their Better for Life program that they have throughout the community. That that's a great outreach for uh, you know folks that are the more elder statesmen, we might say. And, right. Um, you know, we, we got to talking with them, and, you know, the, the reality is, guys, because of the demographics of our area, we have a lot of folks that, that are from the retiree sector uh, that enjoy our games. They're some of our, our biggest fans, and they're, and they're loyal, and they're, they're here at every game, and, and they, they love the Shauna Clears. They've adopted them as their, their new hometown team after moving into the area. So 
it, it just seemed like a no-brainer working with Tideland's Health that this is something we could do to kind of service that segment of our fans and that segment of our population. So what you get for a $150 season ticket, uh, you're in your own section, which, as we mentioned, is the 50 and older section. You get a, you get a select parking pass uh, for, for each ticket account and also $20 in concession vouchers, you know, for each season ticket. So there's a lot of things included in that, too, that, you know, we, we hear from that segment of fans that, that, that they – give us feedback on you know where do i park a lot of a lot of those folks will will go park uh in our our shuttle lots and take the shuttle over the game which is really popular so we, we've tried to accommodate some of those um some of that feedback and some of those interests and it, it made a lot of sense to work with Thailand's health to do that and you know you've expanded that stadium now you even have a nosebleed section that <laughs> is major right there you know what i mean and we've had it we, we, exactly, and we've had a couple of folks who, because of the, the vantage point, you know, football is one of those things where sometimes when you get up higher and, and you've got a better vantage point, you can really kind of see how the whole game, you know, transpires. And Love uh, we've it. had folks that have bought tickets on the very top row. And yeah. Season tickets so far. So it's, it's, it's moving along in the right direction. Sounds like a plan. Don't forget, August 31st, Eastern Michigan and the shot to clears of Coastal Carolina. Matt Hogue, thank yep. you so much for your time, my friend. I appreciate it, guys, and anybody needs information on tickets, they can uh, visit our website. That's gocusports.com, easy to use uh, for ordering your tickets online, or you can call the ticket office, which is 347-TIX, 347-TIXX, and we want to see everybody pack Brooks Stadium to get the season started. Thank you so much, Matt. I appreciate it. All right, we'll talk to you next time. All right, sounds like a plan. I love that. He spells ticks the same way you do. (laughs) T-I-X-X. (laughs) T-I-X-X. We'll be back with more River Talk 2.0 after this. Hey, it's Delaney here at Moonshadow Studios. The thought of the day is always wear your invisible crown. We'll be back with more River Talk 2.0. So your credit score is less than perfect. Say 550 to 660. And you think you need to go to one of those payday lenders to get the money you need. At Anderson Brothers Bank, we make loans other banks won't at rates finance companies can't touch. If you're in need of a small loan to help consolidate debt or a larger auto loan for your next car, we can handle that. Walk into any of our 23 locations and walk out with the loan that you need within minutes or apply at abbank.com. River Talk 2.0. It's that particular time here in the show where we get to actually see who is this week's Veteran of the Week. We've talked about her a couple of days already now and our good friends at the Oaks. And, and, and what's neat is that you've already told me that in addition to them sponsoring this particular segment, she actually is a resident. She at the is Oaks. a That's resident. Cool. Tell, tell me a little yeah. bit more about her veteran this well, week. Well, the, the good thing is, man, we, could, you know, we can't get enough of our veterans, so... Uh, this is good that we do this for the entire week. Uh, it's like pounding it into our viewers. Uh, and uh, this uh, fine lady is uh, Second Lieutenant Field Nurse Trevor Green. Served with the U.S. Army in World War II in uh, France and England. And she cared for the injured, of course. And after her service, uh, Trevor continued her career as an operating uh, nurse right here at Conway Hospital mm-hmm. in Conway. And uh, she resides at the Anderson Oaks Assisted Living in Conway. And once again, we salute our veteran of the week, Trevor Green, second lieutenant field nurse for the U.S. Army. Salute. Salute. Miss. I miss those days when they do that from the cornfield on Hee Haw. Yeah, you remember that? Salute. Salute. Yeah. Hee Haw salutes my hometown, Huntington, <laughs> West Virginia. Population 38,235. Was I close? And a dog. Yeah. And a chicken. Salute. Good stuff. All right. That's exciting what Matt Hogue shared with us about, uh, you know, the whole Coastal Carolina and Kansas thing. That's huge. That is. That's of course, be- Kansas no more for its being a basketball powerhouse but you know, big 12 that's that's not too shabby no no that's not it's shabby good. that is very impressive i can't wait i mean i'm telling you what this whole next season is gonna be fantastic man i'm telling you i'm ex- all excited about it really am you got to get out there because they got yes, that special I seating for after 50 i and hit above. the speedway yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to the stadium all right yeah. do you mind i might even borrow one of the race cars <laughs> 
and drive it to the stadium. Yeah, right. Oh, man. Exactly. Well, it's neat because it, when you talk about the FBS programs, Clemson, Carolina, and Coastal Carolina. Heavy hitters. Yeah, there were these uh, three Gamecock fans, and they were arguing. Uh, actually, they were lamenting about their football program. And the first football fan says, well, I'm blaming the coach because if he'd recruit better players, we'd win more games. And the other Gamecock fan, he's just over there crying and whatever he's drinking at that particular moment. He says, I- I'm not going to blame the coach. I blame the players. If they make better plays and score more points, we'd win some games. And the third little Gamecock fan over there, I think his name might have been Andrew. You know what he said? What's that? He said, I'm blaming my parents, my mom and daddy. Because if I'd been born somewhere else, say like Alabama, <laughs> I'd have a real team to root for. <laughs> not one word about Clemson in there. Oh, no. Not no, no, one no. word. No, uh-uh. Yeah, there's some Gamecock fans up in here. Oh, yeah. Tennessee and South Carolina and throw in the Citadel for good measure. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Well, Andrew's a Citadel man. Do you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, he's still got the haircut. Really? Andrew, are you serious? Yeah, he's a Citadel man. Really? Yeah. Right here. That's why well, he says, yes, sir. That. No, I'm sir. I'm impressed that this cadet. Opens the door for you and is all polite. It's wow. that Citadel upbringing. Look, well, I can tell by the haircut. Look at this haircut. I know. It's nice, Somebody put a it? camera on this guy. I want to show him the Oh, we've haircut. already seen enough of Andrew today. Oh. Well, we have, but, but <laughs> I want people to see his haircut. <laughs> Kids too clean cut. Yeah. You look good, Andrew. Yeah, we'll have really, to show, we'll have to show it. We'll have to show him off. At least yeah. he has hair. Yeah. Well, who am I to talk? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the haircut. <laughs> well, let's not wait till tomorrow. Let's go ahead and let's take a quick peek right now. I mean, look look at that. Look at that do. Isn't that nice? That's like a what? A number two on top, a one on the side. I like your part. Normally go for a zero fade. A z- the top a little long. That's how Delaney likes it. Ah. I don't know, man. It looks all right like that. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. I can dig it. You know, I like the part way down next to your ear. <laughs> that looks <laughs> that's swanky looking. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's ready to do some X that's games. Right. He looks like yeah, he looks he's like, a skateboarder with that. <laughs> <laughs> he's ready to do to do. <laughs> Monster Energy T-shirt tomorrow, man. That's right. You won't intimidate no parents. I promise you. No, that. no intimidation at all, uh-uh. right there. No, uh, man. Oh, I mean, it's like. How do you do, Mrs. Wiley? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately, it's like, he don't do drugs. No. I'll tell you that. That's a good boy right there. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. He cuts weed. He don't smoke Woo! it. Yeah. I was telling you, um, look at them big old sideburns <laughs> he's got there. <laughs> well, let's, let's pick on Andrew Day yeah, here. Let's do it. Let's and, do it. Uh, I'm, all right, I can I'm, take I'm for sure. Hey, at least you've got hair. I can't even. I, I, listen, I feel, listen, I don't have any at all, man. I, now, I used to part my hair along the side. I sure when I had it. You know, I don't have it anymore. You do, so you're better off than, well, no, Jack's got I've hair. I've still got mine, yeah. Yeah, so I'm the only guy in here that, that looks... Like he's going bald, which... I think Jack has the most notable hairdo in almost all of Ward County. He's got the spiked look. Looks like somebody spiked his head. <laughs> well, I, I will tell you the main reason I do that. Why is that? So it makes me look taller. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Really? Yeah, man, my 14-year-old son is technically taller than me if I took away the hair. Well, I guess you're right. Yeah. Well, the reason I've got this bald spot up here is <laughs> I've just got a cheap barber. <laughs> and I only pay him half the money, so he skins me every time. Plus, it's a good landing spot for flies and mosquitoes. Wait, oh, okay. Well, I thought yeah. you were going to go back to that whole America's ace of the airwaves thing there. <laughs> oh, yes. It is a good landing, landing, landing strip there. Yeah, exactly. Landing right. strip. Exactly. Well, I've had fun. My highlight of the day was uh, poking fun at Andrew. I don't know about that you. That was fun, That wasn't was it? fun, yeah. 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 Now well, I feel bad about it because... You know, he's I, such a nice fella. He's nice. He's nice. He's just a nice boy. Nice. He's a real nice boy. He's real nice. Yeah, he'd make a fine paper boy. He'd make a fine boyfriend for a daughter, wouldn't he? <laughs> you wouldn't have to worry nothing about him. <laughs> wow. We'll see you next time. Yeah, just, just kidding. Just kidding. On River Talk 2.0. So long, everybody.